There are said to be still over 100 persons in shelters across the country after the, after the December 2013 passage of the trough system. Director of, Nas of the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, Howie Prince, made that disclosure during the handing over ceremony yesterday by the Musty Charitable Trust. Prince noted that the government is working hard to rebuild houses, communities and livelihoods. He said they are grateful to the many persons who have assisted in the rebuilding process of the country following the disaster. Tough task, but it's an ongoing effort and we have to thank all those persons who have been involved in the process so far. So this is one more opportunity that we get that we shouldn't lose to say thank you again to the Mustic Charitable Trust, to the Red Cross, to all the organizations, agencies, and all those persons who donated in one way or the other to make this effort worthwhile so that our people can have less suffering. Prince outlined that significant work has been done in relation to assisting the affected persons of the December 2013 disaster. I know that there are many people who were impacted. They may, they may not necessarily be laughing, but the, the, the plight has been eased significantly because so many persons and organizations came to the rescue and offered the best that they have. A female resident of Vermont, identified as 34-year-old Miranda Williams, was found dead earlier this morning in the area known as Chapel in Peniston. While residents of the area say that they heard gunshots on Friday, information surrounding the woman's death remains sketchy at this time. Meantime, passenger van HE851, reportedly carrying school children for a football game, overturned at Argyle this afternoon. When SVGTV contacted the Stubbs police station on the matter, we were told that the officers were currently on the scene investigating the incident. However, the police stated that several of the children had to be taken to the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital with broken limbs and other injuries. Lion District Governor Izet Makala, MJF of Jamaica, is expected to arrive in the state on Sunday to visit with, to visit with and conduct club audits for the Lions and Leo clubs of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. While here, the District Governor will pay a courtesy call to the Governor General, His Excellency Sir Frederick Ballantyne, Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez and Minister of Social Development Frederick Stevenson. The Governor's visit coincides with the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Lionism in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The 50th anniversary program will be launched at a news conference on Monday, April 14th, at the Lions Den in Kingstown from 2.30. Lions Club International is the world's largest service club organization, with more than 1.3 million members of approximately 45,000 clubs in more than 200 countries and geographical areas around the world. The Inter-American Agency res Agencies, resident in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Organization of American States, the OAS, the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, AICA, and the Pan-American Health Organization, PAHO, will host their second annual Inter-American Exhibition on Monday at the Pub National Public Library. The exhibition will showcase the work of the three organizations, highlighting in, their, highlighting in particular their work here in SVG. It's being held in commemoration of Pan American Day on Monday, a day celebrated annually throughout the Western Hemisphere as a symbol of the decision of the countries of the Americas to unite voluntarily within one continental community. The exhibition will be open for viewing from 10.30 a.m. on Monday and the general public is invited to, is invited to visit.